How does the elevation command work and can it create multi-storey elevations? To answer this, let's create the front elevation of the two-storey house in the plan here. First, we pick the elevation command. The command prompt is asking on which wall will the elevation be based. Effectively, this is the wall we want to look at in the elevation. We highlighted this wall on the ground floor plan. Pick on one of the wall lines of this wall. Now we move the cursor down to define the viewing direction to the wall. Next, the depth of view. Typically, this would be past the roof ridge line so that this would be correctly represented in the elevation. Next, we need to define the left and right extents of the elevation. In this case, two points past the outside edges to the left and right of the plan. In some instances, you may want an elevation of the entire plan width, so you can use these points to restrict this. Now for the reference point. This point is used to position the elevation on the drawing. It is also used for lining up multiple stories and therefore should be a common point which can be picked on all floors. For example, the lower left corner of the building. Now simply click the ground floor elevation into place. Let's just click on Zoom Extents to view the entire drawing contents. OK, we will repeat this process to create the first floor elevation. Click on the Elevation button and click on the front wall of the first floor plan. Now pick the Viewpoint, Depth of View, then the left and right extents. Finally, the reference point. Here we select the bottom left corner of the wall so we can easily align the first floor elevation with the ground floor. Now attach the first floor elevation to the ground floor elevation. Again, zoom extents to see the completed drawing. We can now remove any unwanted lines. In this case, we don't need the floor lines on the first floor elevation, so we can just select them and delete them.